Hello and welcome to our channel, Screeshops.com. Today, wildfire smoke is creating some of the worst air quality in the world for Oregon cities, including Portland. Metro area residents are noticing more smoke and evacuation notices are creeping closer to the city as fires continue to burn through neighboring Clackamas County. Residents of Estacada, Molilla and Colton are under level 3, go now. Evacuation advisories as of Friday evening, Oregon City, Canby, Sandy and Mount Hood are level 2, which means they should be ready to go at a moment's notice. Fire officials said Friday night that the Beachy Creek Fire, also known as the Santium Fire, was responsible for four deaths, including two bodies that were found Friday, but weren't immediately identified publicly. Firefighters are preparing for the Beachy Creek Fire and the Riverside Fire to merge. They've cleared the area between the two blazes. Multnomah County has yet to issue an evacuation order, but Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler closed all Portland parks and outdoor spaces and has declared an emergency. In Medford, the Almeida fire has claimed at least one life, authorities confirmed Friday. That brings the known death toll from the Oregon fires to six. The fire remained stable, though much of the city is still under a level three evacuation order. The latest update Friday tallies the area burned at 3,574 acres with 20% containment. But a few miles northeast, the Abenchain fire expanded rapidly, and several small communities were placed under level 3 evacuation orders. The Holiday Farm fire continues to burn near the Springfield, Eugene metro area. Reduced winds Thursday allowed crews to bring in heavy machinery to expand fire lines near Rainbow to the eastern Springfield to the west. No new evacuation orders were issued Thursday. All told, 900,000 acres have burned statewide, and more than 500,000 people are under some level of evacuation or pre-evacuation orders. These online tools offer up-to-the-minute emergency information on wildfires, evacuations and air quality in the Pacific Northwest. Northwest Fires, Oregon Evacuations, Oregon's Raptor map shows wildfires across the U.S. Western evacuation zones within the state. Enter an address to quickly zoom in on a specific location. It's slow to load, so prepare for a brief wait before the map appears. Major Oregon and Washington fires, the Northwest Interagency Coordination Center, which coordinates firefighters across the region, shares this map of major fires in the Pacific Northwest. Air Quality Index, enter a zip code, town or address for the latest local air quality readings. Blue Sky Canada has an interactive map showing wildfire smoke forecasts across the Pacific Northwest, including Oregon and Washington. Here are some practical tips, including a packing list, on how to prepare for a wildfire evacuation. PublicAlerts.org provides links to sign up for emergency phone and email alerts across the Portland-Vancouver metro area. Scroll to find your local jurisdiction. Outside the greater Portland metro area, alerts are handled by local governments. Search emergency alerts and your county's name to find a link. The remains of a home destroyed in the Santium Fire near Gates, or, Sept. 9, 2020. Fires around Oregon could become the deadliest, costliest in state history. Against a smoke-filled sky, a man offers salvation to commuters from a freeway overpass in Portland, or. The air quality in the city has been ranked as the worst of all major cities in the world due to smoke blowing in from several surrounding wildfires. On the edge of where Highway 22 is closed, the town of Staten, or, is thick with smoke. September 10, 2020. Jim Furlow's son gives him a hug on September 10, 2020, in a parking lot shelter in Clackamas County, or. Jim and his wife Tracy were getting ready to evacuate further north as fire officials expanded the county's evacuation zones. Four wildfires continued gaining ground and firefighters worried the two would soon merge in Clackamas County on Sept. 10, 2020. Leslie Butlovich stands with two of her seven rescue dogs in a parking lot shelter in Clackamas County, or, on Sept. 10, 2020. Fire officials were concerned that two for the four fires burning in Clackamas County were close to merging as evacuation zones continued to expand. A partially burned American flag flutters in the breeze in front of the remains of a mobile home in Talent, or, on Thursday, Sept. 10, 
more than 50 mobile homes in this park were completely destroyed by the Almeida fire which came through the area Tuesday. Madeline Smith walks between what was the living room and laundry room of her house in Talent, or, south of Medford. She has been picking through the rubble looking for anything that can be salvaged after wildfire tore through her home. Several buildings at Sage Community School are burned to the foundation after the 242 fire tore through Claymouth Agency along Highway 62, north of Claymouth Lake. Chelsea Devers scrambles to salvage possessions from her home as the Santium fire approaches near Gates, or, Sept. 9, 2020. Fires around Oregon could become the deadliest, costliest in state history. Roxanne Emerson hugs her grandson after finding her home safe from the Santium fire near Gates, or, Sept. 9, 2020. Fires around Oregon could become the deadliest, costliest in state history. The charred husk of a car in a neighborhood burned in the Santium fire near Gates, or, Sept. 9, 2020. Fires around Oregon could become the deadliest, costliest in state history. Liquid spills from a vehicle destroyed in the Santium fire near Gates, or, Sept. 9, 2020. Fires around Oregon could become the deadliest, costliest in state history. Smoke rolls in along the Columbia River corridor near Cascade Locks as wildfires burn across Oregon, Thursday, September 10, 2020. Chance Johnson hugs Sarah Hunter the two loaded a horse into a trailer to be evacuated north on September 9, 2020 in Canby, Oregon. Four wildfires continued gaining ground in Clackamas County aided by high winds. Kyle Street. Claire and his wife Karina prepare to evacuate at their home on September 9, 2020 in Molala, Oregon. Four wildfires continued gaining ground in Clackamas County aided by high winds in Malala, Oregon, on September 9, 2020. Bridget Nose took in horses and people who had been evacuated from nearby areas on September 9, 2020 in Canby, Oregon. Four wildfires continued gaining ground in Clackamas County aided by high winds. Bridget Nose took in horses and people who had been evacuated from nearby areas on September 9, 2020 in Canby, Oregon. Four wildfires continued gaining ground in Clackamas County aided by high winds. Kyle Street. Claire and his wife Karina prepare to evacuate at their home on September 9, 2020 in Molala, Oregon. Four wildfires continued gaining ground in Clackamas County aided by high winds in Malala, Oregon, on September 9, 2020. The aftermath of a fire at a timber mill near Molala in Clackamas County, or, on Sept. 10, 2020. Four wildfires continued gaining ground in the county and firefighters worried the two would soon merge. The American Red Cross established an aid center at the state fairgrounds in Salem, or, to help people evacuated from by the Santium Fire, Thursday, Sept. 10, 2020. Evacuees from the Santium Fire continue to stream to the state fairgrounds in Salem on Thursday, September 10, 2020, where county officials and the American Red Cross have established an aid center. A helicopter is grounded in a smoky field near the Incident Command Center for the Santium Fire near Gates, or, Sept. 9, 2020. Fires around Oregon could become the deadliest, costliest in state history. Firefighters give directions during the Santium Fire near Gates, or, Sept. 9, 2020. Fires around Oregon could become the deadliest, costliest in state history. Joshua Graham heads to talk to firefighters battling the Santium Fire near Gates, or, Sept. 9, 2020. Fires around Oregon could become the deadliest, costliest in state history. Clackamas County fires grow despite improving weather. Fire officials overseeing the Riverside Fire in Clackamas County said that, while more resources are available and the weather has improved, they are still fighting a very active fire with persistent danger. According to an update on the National Wildfire Coordinating Group, erratic winds Thursday drove growth on all sides of the fire, which was estimated to be more than 130,000 acres on Friday afternoon. But winds in the area were considerably lighter Friday and humidity had increased. Fears that the Riverside and Beachy Creek fires would merge had yet to materialize. As of the most current infrared flight that we have, it still shows the Beachy Creek and Riverside fires, respectively, approximately one air mile apart, said Holly Craig, the public information officer for the Riverside Fire Incident Management Team. 
It's a very fluid and dynamic situation. We anticipate with a combination of weather and continued record dry fuel, timber and grass out there, that it's likely the two might merge in the coming hours or potentially days. Related, weather is improving, but Clackamas County fires still grow. Doug Grafe, fire chief at the Oregon Department of Forestry, said Friday that improving weather conditions will allow firefighters to move from just life safety to offense against these fires. Oregon Gov. Kate Brown, meanwhile, warned there's still a long way to go in fighting fires tearing through the state and that many won't be extinguished until fall rains arrive. Improving weather conditions put Oregon firefighters on offense. As fires ravage Oregon and Washington, burning around one million acre in a matter of days, fear and rumors have begun to take hold on social media. Law enforcement officials who spoke to OPB, however, said they have seen no evidence of Antifa or any other vigilante groups starting fires. Officers with the Douglas, Clackamas and Jackson County Sheriff's offices have all tried to squash the rumors this week, saying people calling with misinformation are wasting resources needed to help with firefighting and relief efforts. The FBI also issued a statement Friday, saying it had not found any rumors around extremist groups starting wildfires to be true. Police and fire officials say they will investigate the causes of all the fires the state faces after conditions are more stable and life and property are protected. For now, those officials are clear, there's no evidence Antifa or any other political group is committing arson at this time, and online speculation wastes precious resources needed to save lives. Untrue Antifa rumors waste precious resources for Oregon fires. Federal Emergency Aid for Oregon. Late Thursday, President Donald Trump declared a federal emergency for Oregon, something gov. Kate Brown and all seven members of the state's congressional delegation had requested. The declaration will make it easier for federal agencies to coordinate with state and local officials and for Oregon to receive federal money to aid in recovery. Once the emergency declaration is signed, Oregon officials will need to compile a report on the devastation caused by this week's fires in pursuit of a major disaster declaration. U.S. Sen. Jeff Merkley said that second designation will bring significant financial assistance, and he believes Oregon should easily qualify. Trump declares Oregon emergency, federal relief might be package deal for western states. How to be ready before officials issue that get ready, evacuation notice. Thousands of people across Oregon have been forced to evacuate this week as wildfires burned across hundreds of thousands of acres of land. Often there was little time between the level 1, or get ready, notification, and level 3, or go now. That forced many people to make split-second decisions about what to bring, what to leave and where to go. Making those decisions about what to do in an active evacuation scenario is almost impossibly difficult, even for those of us who cover wildfires and other natural disasters for a living. This week's fires are a reminder that very few of us are immune from the risk of wildfire in Oregon, even in a major city. Say. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel to get our latest stories notifications.